Hello, Mr. Mitchell. Are we playing a game here? You are, Mr. Cohn. No, I'm. Uh, I'm actually planning a lesson from my Y7s. Uh, okay. I'm on a website called Code.org, uh, and what it does is it allows students to look at Minecraft, Flappy Bird, Star Wars, Angry Birds, the more popular games. Uh, and what it does is it allows uh, students to get a brief and basic understanding of coding. Okay. If I click on Flappy Bird and start, I'll show you a bit of the game, Mr. Cohn. Cross. Mm -hmm. Turn the video off. We've got three things. We've got one, the background with the bird. We've got the blocks. Yep. Uh, and we've got the workspace where I can drag the blocks like a jigsaw. So, for example, level one is all about when I click, I've got two things I couldn't, I could allow it to do. One could be flap. Yep. And one could be play wing sound. Okay. If I drag them across, uh, uh, if I drag them across, when click, I flap and play a wing sound. Okay. Click the run. And you can see now, every time I click, Mr. Khan, yep. my bird is going up. And it's all about getting it into the target. Let me show oh, you level really? two. Continue. Gets a little bit trickier as we go through. Um, same again. Uh, a background with Flappy Bird on. We've got the uh, the blocks we could use. Now we've got two green blocks to use. When click, flap. When click again, play a wing sound. But when I hit the ground... I want to end the game. Okay. Let's play it. Let's have a look. So you can see when I'm clicking, Mr. Khan, the, the, the flappy bird is going up and dropping down. But if I let go and don't click and hit the oh, floor, that. it's game over. That's brilliant. It's, it, it seems like quite a challenging game. Brilliant. Yep. Brilliant. Thank you. You all right, Mr. Khan? What are you doing there? Oh, hello, Mr. Mitchin. I'm just uh, putting uh, some computer components uh, onto the motherboard. Um, I am just preparing for my year 10 computer science class. Uh, I will be teaching them all about uh, computer hardware and also the internal components of a uh, PC. So as you can see, I've got um, two RAM sticks here and I'm just making sure that they are all uh, intact so that when the students work on the computer, they have components to take apart. Um, but just to uh, show you a little bit about the uh, computer itself, um, we have got quite a number of uh, components um, We've got the power supply here, uh, we've got the uh, hard drive on here, and we've also got the uh, CPU, which is the main component of a computer. And as you know, it does all of the processing of instructions and it also executes instructions. So in the lesson, I will be showing the internal components so that students understand how the computer goes together and also uh, so that they have an understanding of um, why we need a CPU and how the components work together for the computer to uh, execute instructions. 